So last time I checked out My Mind was back in August 2020. And to be honest, my first look review was very brief and it didn't really capture the best picture of My Mind. Today, we're going to be doing a full review of this visual note-taking application and how it can be used to really take advantage of your visual notes and with some of the AI and machine learning technologies within it. So first and foremost, this application is designed for designers, researchers, and visual thinkers. It is very much a visual application. Imagine Pinterest and Google Keep had a baby. It's very much like that, creating very basic post-it notes, allowing you to have articles, uh, PDFs, visuals like video and images and other types of multimedia. It's a much visual application compared to what you're typically introduced to when it comes to note taking. Now, first and foremost, this application is paid. It is actually locked under a premium pricing plans and they include Student for Life, Mastermind and Newton Comment later this year. It's fairly highly priced when you compare it to other applications in this space. Although the Student for Life plan is more priced towards what Evernote is monthly, the Mastermind is much more expensive. At $11.99 a month, it gives you everything you need inside of My Mind and offers some additional abilities that the Student for Life plan doesn't have. The reason why My Mind are offering this as a paid application because of their basic ethos and values, and they include no social, no collaboration, no vanity metrics, no social pressures, no tracking, no ads, and privacy from the start. This is quite an important trend we're seeing in the productivity space as people like to own their information, but also pay for it these days because they want a fully um, controlled experience for their own use. And also knowing that it's owned by you is quite important these days. So when it comes to using My Mind, it's really easy to capture stuff. There is a Chrome extension and it does expand across all of the other web browsers, allowing you to clip stuff across a day. Whether that's an article or whether it is a quick uh, photo that you want to clip from Pinterest, whatever it is, you can save it into your My Mind, adding notes to it and even adding tags. Now, My Mind uses AI to search your images and find things that are similar. So, for example, if you search like duck and you had a picture of a duck in there, it would find it and be able to recall it, which is helpful. There's also great ways to set up intelligent bookmarks, AI text clipping, which is really nice. And in the mastermind plan, there's something called an article analyzer. This analyzes articles and finds out what parts are most important and then uses that information to index it to you. They also have a reader mode in this mastermind uh, plan and the reader mode does offer a cleaner, more focused experience when being able to read an article. They also have a focused experience when you're creating a note too, which is very nice. Now, in terms of the general experience of my mind, it's fast, easy to use, and it does come quite playful. They're looking to add a graph ability in the near future, as stated on their website. Now, who is this best for? I would say my mind, as I said, is most suited towards designers, visual thinkers, and researchers. Those that like visual applications like Pinterest and Google Keep at being able to see all their notes at one time. I think it's also important to note that my mind doesn't have as much of a visual front end like Evernote, Roam, and Obsidian, like many of the other applications. It doesn't really do that. It allows you to capture and move on fast. And when you need to recall stuff, it'll bring it up for the future. I think the reader mode feature is pretty decent and some of the additions they've made to the AI have been pretty cool as well, especially the AI text clipping as well. This application is very much premium experience and it goes much more towards a high-end market when looking for note takers out there. However, if you're looking for something that has a, a true values as a company, like companies like Doist do, and that looks and feels really good, especially their mobile application, I think you will like my mind. So thank you very much folks for stopping by on today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you're brand new. We do plenty of productivity software reviews, as well as guides and tutorials that I think you'll find helpful. Thank you very much folks, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon.
Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you're interested in checking out some more, you'll find them here. And also you can subscribe to as well. It'd be great to have you here to optimize your tool. And if you're interested in our new email newsletters or our Bento application, or even Tool Finder, which is a new tool that we've created to help you find the perfect productivity tool, you can find it linked in the description.